Oh, Karen, thank you so much. Thank you for, um, I called you, I think it was maybe a couple of days ago or yesterday, because I haven't been doing these interviews this year and it's just, I've really missed doing them. I really appreciate you um, being up for doing it. Thank oh, you, my Karen. My pleasure, Anna. It's lovely to have you in my in my kitchen. Yeah, exactly. And it's lovely, to ha it's lovely to have your artwork behind me. This was the oh. last one that you sent... Um, last night when you sent through all of i've got your google drive so i mean we could go through each and every one oh, which is probably yeah. the last thing you want to do you might not yeah. want to um explain it um in great detail uh exactly what's going on with your with your art but you might be up for you know hopefully uh, a few of them and um i think like most of us as creatives then it's it's some of them we we don't always know what's going on when, when we're when we're playing around and coming up with ideas with this one karen I'm, i'll move out of the way i'm sorry because i um i've just put it up and i didn't check um i didn't check the just for the, the because of the time i didn't check how much i know it's like an abstract painting but i didn't check where what the framing is so just yeah, tell so me if I'm it's any just, um, anywhere near okay. or maybe to remind myself oh sorry uh okay maybe not i i can sorry i'm just looking for to see if i can find it to remind well what what i could do is i've got the um i've got the original um which i um i've got the original which should I still be on there no, I'm looking for it, and actually, it's one of the ones I was thinking about this before we um, we started because this is a it, it it it's it's one of the ones I left behind when I left the set. I know not on pur on purpose. Oh, uh, but there's a whole a whole bunch of the stuff there. I, I'm looking because it's been back into my in my mind. So I do I know, but I know. I know because you were because you were um, went to an art school, didn't you? You went and did uh, in the southwest. That's yeah, right. And yeah. Then when I left. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's still uh, these these things still may exist in a in a in a room in um in, in you know in a in a small town near Bristol. But I and and I just have to ask the people that are, uh, uh, but I don't know what the reluctance is. I have a record of of all of them anyway. Um, and actually, I think there's something about um, letting things go and not not you know not clinging on and redoing things. Oh, oh I'm just sharing the screen because I was looking okay. for to be able to get it up. Yeah, it's this, so it's, it's this it's one, a, isn't it? It's uh, I was. It's really weird. So I was in the in in the West Country um, at the time, and I started um, working again as you know, doing art work um, and the time and giving myself titles. And um, I was in the countryside, and everything that I came up with <laughs> took me back to West London to the canal. Actually, this is um, so. These are from my. There are combination of my photographs um and then just playing around with with mixed media plaster and different types of paint um and cut and paste cut oh, so and these are right so these are photos of of near where you live i didn't mean yeah of course because it looks so yeah, textured trillix on there a couple of times uh who this is trillic tower Oh, Trillic Tower here, right? Yes. Yeah, this is the canal. These are houses going up by um, Kensal, uh, Kensal Road. Yeah. Yeah. So what materials did you use? You said you've got your photographs and then are you using oils as well? So there's some oil, there's powder. Um, at the time, I was really just massively... I had a space, so I had a studio space, which makes... Um, makes a big difference. Um, I had access, as you, you know, I, I, I was at college then, so I had access to a photocopier, so I could just look at something and go, yeah, I like it, paste it up and then run, photograph it and run and photocopy it and then just mess around. 
throw plaster at it. And so, yeah, I was really um, into looking at the way paint works when you just experimenting, totally experimenting. Pla there's plaster in there. Um, I didn't realise that. Although now you say it, I can't see because, I, well, I don't think, because I haven't seen the original, and as you said, the original's still somewhere in a town near, near Bristol. I know. Well, maybe, maybe. I hope you, I maybe hope you get them. Oh, I hope you get them. It's great to have this yeah. one. But yeah, now you say that, I'm, I'm just, it, you really, even if you're, if we, we don't have the original to, it looks like you could, if you touched it, they'd, well, you wouldn't touch it, but there's just so many different textures and so what was the, was, was that your... And I think now I'm looking at it, oh, um, <laughs> now I'm looking at it, I think that from what I can see, there's definitely um, previous works that I'd done. So within that year, I was, I was working quite, you know, I was just working all the time. Um, and I, and as I say, I, everything was taking me back, not intentionally. It was really, uh, you know, I was literally just uh, letting my head open. And, um, and I'd never worked, but like you, you know me um, well, and you've seen the work that I was doing. Everything was really precise and figurative. Yeah. And from the intense detail. Um, yes. Almost photo accurate. So to just go like this um the freedom was insane and so because I, and also because i didn't have a personal blueprint so i wasn't working from uh from a process you know i wasn't working from my process i was just like going what would happen if i did this and and it happened you know or happened by accident but now i'm looking at it i think every piece of work i did um, there's areas where I can see the pre the work that I'd done just before that, which was um, a three D piece, um, which was like. Is that one of the? Uh, is that the other one that you sent? Um, that you sent me on the email. Let's have a look and see what. I don't think I don't think I know that I sent it. So the other one was this one. You see that one? Is that? That's the same. One. That's the same one. Oh, are you not seeing the? Oh, it isn't. It's a different one. Maybe you're not seeing. Let me just get rid of okay. this one here. Um, are you not? Oh, that's now gone. Let's just go again. Are you not seeing this one, Karen? Yeah. So there might be elements of that. That's the, that's the canal again. Obviously, I was obsessed with the canal and the stretch between um, Labrook Grove and Trillick Tower. Um, mm. And, and what, I, what I loved that you just said was that you you re, you went you went from all that precision and the accuracy, the almost photo accuracy, because I saw seen a lot of your drawings, to thinking what happens if what if I just play and if I just just really just let my mind well just relinquish my mind really and relinquish yeah. that level of control or even thought. So did you did you allow? Um, did you really allow yourself to not plan at all? Or did you think, I really feel like I need to express, um, I need to express, I want to express a photos of where I was um, brought up and do it in a different way. Or did you just not do any of that at all? You just thought, I'm not even going to think that far. I, I think because I had a brief, um, because where I, where I was at, so I'd, um, I was looking for some kind of structure. And so I I was doing this course. So I had a brief and that was really, really good for me because. What was the brief? I think some kind of, so the brief was a sense of place. And, um, and there was a photo that I'd taken of the canal um, by Sainsbury's on Labrook Grove. And it was a really sunny day and canal, water is um so as you you know water means a lot to me because i grew up by the sea which is always rough so not you really don't often get reflections but canal water is often and there's a, a is often very flat and still so if you get the right light and it's at a base and so you've got depth um then the reflections are just incredible so i started um with this photograph, photo that I'd taken, um, and 
yeah, just so literally, I don't think I did plan. I don't, wasn't looking to express. I think, yeah, if I think back, I let I I I just went with my instinct, which I guess you're following your subconscious when you're, but but not consciously. If I start because I know myself, and that's this is what I'm trying to do now. I've just started trying to do some artwork again every day but I'm really trying to switch that bit off because as soon as I start thinking I stop doing um hmm. yeah it's a different way of working isn't it although I actually not dissimilar yesterday because I haven't written anything for ages and I thought right don't similar to what you very similar to what you just said I thought don't just take your thoughts off here and really let yourself explore um, yes. and see and see what comes up because I can uh, not exactly what you just said about I can have the I've and I have done previously when I was writing um right have an idea of how I want it to go and then I'll execute it to the T and I I've, I like that way of working at all but in doing that you can completely forget that you're unconscious or what is innate and um, that you could trust that really and and also allow yourself give yourself that um, freedom to freedom and faith I suppose in yourself and just in the uh, being able to explore just let yourself let do go. that yeah, yeah let yourself do that I don't know what it is that has a stop what do you think it is that has you has had you stop doing that as had you not do that before um I don't know, I think taking, so re, re, relinquishing the kind of the end line. So yeah, just having trust, I, I suppose. And there's something in me, which is, I, I guess it's quite controlling. I don't think of myself as a controlling person, but um, I want to know, you know, that that it's almost like in my mind, I want to run through the whole, I used to do it on, when I was writing, when I was at university, I want to have the whole thing in my head. It doesn't live in your head, it lives outside. And once it's outside of, you know, and so it's having trust in, in that, that once it's outside, it takes on a life of its own. Um, yeah it sounds a bit yeah. um <laughs> no it doesn't and there's no, there's no one way to do it i just i just had it just i don't know it's like letting the letting the you know opening the paddock gates and letting the the, yeah. the horses run free yeah. you know which they I, really want to do um, i totally get that because i never thought of myself as a controlling person until I realized that I, I have been, I've been just been forgetting to play. I just love that you just because you spoke about this, these works that you, you did when you were, um, when you were uh, uh, near Bristol, uh, being such a departure that it's, it, it is interesting what it, what it kind of, um, what it tells you about your process of working. But then having said that, there really is no one way to, um, and it, but it's, um, in terms of self reflection, it can be helpful I suppose um when we think about that actually what what is working for us and to and to give ourselves permission for one thing to work at one time and another way to work at another time and yeah. that it doesn't have to be one way really um and but I love that you were getting you said you're just getting outside of your head and just trying to switch the switch that off and allow that come out but you did there was there was that re um the the sentence a sense of place I just want to share um Let's share the screen again uh, because there's you sent me all of these. Wow. Oh my goodness, so many. I mean, this might be. Don't feel you've got to go through all. Yeah. <laughs> all of it. The, the one that you said. Um, well, there's a few. There's, there are a few that I know that I think you did at, when you were there at the same place. Yeah. So this one, for instance, is this is this this one of them? This yeah, that's um. <laughs> yes it is um and that's playing around with paint again um but also it was um it was a study leading up to a three piece uh three d piece that i did so these are um post office um what do you call them they're like lock up security 
boxes. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. so, so yeah, um, safe deposit boxes. Yeah, so that was moving on and oh, oh I didn't realize what that's what they were. Yes. I thought it was so, a build. Was supposed to, was the idea that it's going it's it could be a building, but then as you said it when you look closer it isn't. Yes, and I liked I think this might be a building on this side. I may have added uh, put the two together but yeah. with the idea with them i the other there's another piece that i saw in in the hole and that's also the security boxes um and that was um i can't remember what the title was but it was to do with 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 memories and um what's real and what's not real it's yeah it started off from, and what we decide to save so Oh gosh, that's the memories fantastic. we decide to keep. So, yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. It's it's really like you have a whole lifetime, but you choose these, and so um, yeah, I wanted to do a piece that um, I mean, my I had loads of ideas, but my original idea was it was like a chest to oh, oh there it is there, and these were from the um, things like the Brinks mat. So photographs. These weren't my photos. They were these were from uh you know when the safety deposit box gets oh this um, one you mean oh no that's not that's this. a study no. from it yeah and also the the um that this sorry i'm just trying to see which one you mean it's you mean below the, uh, this oh, so there's loads it doesn't really matter because they're all on the same theme um this one uh, yeah so they're all on 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 similar themes um so with this one you as you said it's it's the memories that we keep is that what you said yeah Safety so i was deposit. looking oh. at um so i was interested in in how you define so a set so a sense of place moving on from that i was interested in how we how one defines a sense of of you a sense of 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 identity and 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 who you are and 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 uh, and the store, you know, the stories that we curate is that what, does that make sense to yeah. inform who who we are? Um, yeah, and then yeah, then we put them we, in a safety deposit box. Yes, because you just yeah of them of of ourselves. We decide. Oh, I'm keeping that because um, and and some of them, you know. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if that. No, I, lo I love. It's just such a yeah. It's it's, it's completely kind of a, a unique and um, you know, a take on on how to uh, how to show that, how to demonstrate that. Uh, my and original then... idea was to create some kind of box um, with lots of little drawers in it um, and have a collection of letters and photographs etc etc and but some are just completely made up so so much of what just is stories so mm. some are real and then some of them are just absolutely you know who we wanted to be or <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah, don't well, know. It, but no, I come to I mean, it, get, uh, get that, you. That was the original idea, but um, <laughs> it took on, and so that's that's the thing. So, so writing about that and thinking about it, uh, oh, gosh, the, the terrible world, it turned into something, um, something else completely, um, and uh, which wouldn't have happened if it didn't leap out onto the page. Yeah, that, that's brilliant, Karen. I mean, absolutely. It's, it's sometimes in well, again. Um, it can be on reflection or at the time. It's great that you've got that awareness, but often for me, it's on reflection where I think, what was I doing at that point yeah. in my life that I thought it was so real and that it was it was what I either what I needed or what I or what I thought reality was supposed to look like. <laughs> and um, and then you think, yeah, what fantasy land was that? So um, or not not that um, it's. I mean, it was real at the, at, at the time, so they yeah. are our realities at the time, but yes. it, the fact that you, you in a, is what you're saying, that you made, that it's made up in that you created that reality and that it wasn't necessarily 
um, it was of your own making in that sense. And a memory, it? you know, memories grow legs, don't they? But also <laughs> on what, yes, on what we try to keep, what we decide to keep, and maybe, you know, maybe if you check, if you kept a whole, you know, you could keep a whole box of the ones, you know, the memories that come to the front, the ones that stay, that that are in the in the in the safety deposit boxes. These are really special and safe, but. What about, you know, now I'm going to, why don't I just add to them uh, swinging on the swing rope in the woods that day when I was seven years old? Do you know, like, that's not, I, that, that isn't, that isn't in my, in my box of memories, but, but now it is because I've just placed it there. And actually, <laughs> that was quite cool, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, that's, that um, makes me think about, um, well, I'm not going to say I'm not going to call it false memory then, because it's you could say it's, there is such a thing. There's supposed to be such a thing as false memory. Yeah. But uh, I like the idea that you're you're um, playing with that idea that um, if you created it as a memory, then maybe it's then to value it, that it could be a real memory. And um, in that, that that's it's like really deep. And I don't quite know where, what the end of the sentence is going to be. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I suppose what if you create it in your mind then is then what's to say it isn't real it's a real creation that's for sure yeah. uh, and then so many things what what else is so amazing is so many things come out of these um constructions the, these creations that we have whether they really happened or whether we created them and ideas um, so many ideas that people might have thought were crazy to start off with they become a reality and they're in and out there in the world and then for everybody to see and so it's a really um it's a it's a wonderful um reminder to uh uh not to not to make a decision about what is real and what isn't real really and that it's and that we have quite a lot of say in that in what we what our imagination does um i'm just going to um a second let me just share that and uh let's come back to let's come back to that so that's so that was all the the safety deposit but that's such a lovely idea the one to the left so that's a sketch and then there's the one to the left this one yeah yeah oh a minute um, that's done now yeah oh okay so that's yeah uh, i mean that looks like a, a real it's well it isn't it's a collection of tap can you describe what it is is it a collection of towers made from so is it is it different photographs that you've made a new tower? These are all safety deposit boxes. Oh, as well. Yeah. Um, so I didn't. I've, I I don't think I added it, but that ended because I wasn't actually that pleased with how it turned out. But I should have sent it anyway. So this was a study for. Um, it ended up being a three D piece, um, which. <laughs> is that in a town near Bristol as well? I don't know if it's anywhere right now. <laughs> oh, I have a photo of it. Um, I have a photo of it. I could, I can send you over. Yeah, do send it um, to me. Um, yeah, which you turned it, it, but that was like so. It, I hadn't Sorry, done three D before, so it's. Uh, this started off, so this is not, this is the study, isn't it? Obviously, but it's, it's uh, started, it became a, like a helter skelter. Um, oh, how um, big so, was it, Karen? Hmm? How big was it off the ground? So, probably up to my mid thigh. Yeah. And so, did you, I did what really, did you use? Did you, um, plaster, did you, um, card, wire metal um because i yeah i liked using lots of found things and i formed i found a way um i <laughs> which is ironic uh seen as it's me but i found um old old pill you know people get uh from the chemist the, these pill cases which put they they're like perfect squares like an ice cube tray for their daily yeah. Um, I used that as a mould for my um, um, 
for the that, safety deposit to create yeah and so i did uh so so yeah this helter skelter thing which um i bet that would be oh it's a shame you can't um you don't well you can't have that it was, but well it's somewhere anyway it's created it's out there in the yeah. out there in the world somewhere that is some, so do you do and you said do you like to use you just mentioned about the materials that you use do you like to use things that are around is what you said yes yeah uh so by that what do you mean to de deliber deliberately just start repurpose things that are yes. kind of everyday things and just just to see what happens really like um i mean i had yeah uh to burn paint and yeah uh i guess so well i like the fact you said to see what happens so you so you just take an every and you're just like you'll twist it or something you'll just do something with it so with all the objects you do that as well or yeah it, i had was it just the idea of repurpose or what's partly repurposing although but it, it doesn't it doesn't sound like it is that so much it's more that you want to transform it in some way that you want to alter it in some way yeah and um i don't know i think with the pill thing i like the irony of it um because so many you know pits so many you know the, there's the 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 pill box has each day on it and it's it's that whole um idea of people you know of one handing one's handing one's uh health and whatever else over to to a pill i don't know um so i don't know i i guess i have i have my own sense i don't know if this i don't know if any of this makes sense but i i like to fascinating um, so I, I haven't talked about it before but i or or, or I, I think i had to talk about it at the time but i wouldn't necessarily talk about it like this which is which is a shame shame but i i kind of like to have my own jokes with it if i can't um, even though it sounds sort of this whole memory things, it sounds quite serious. Um, it's kind of, if I can't have a, you know, if I, if I can't have a joke with it and if I'm, if I'm not kind of laughing within it, um, uh, yeah, then it wouldn't engage me. Well, that's 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 great to know that it's all that it's all of it that it's not one or the it's it, that all of the all of your thoughts and processes and what whatever's going on that that um you feel that you can express all of it and that you said like you bring humor who's that really famous but maybe um, not it, it, maybe not <laughs> yeah maybe the humor isn't always uh, so so yeah maybe the humor in that instance was between myself and the piece. And it but goes that... out there and it's this in yeah. that situation. But why not? Because and as, have, as... yeah, so to have a relationship with what you're creating, I guess. Yeah, yeah, and it and it is your <laughs> it's your creation. And it's, maybe and that's it's, and, it's it's part... you, and you have a lot of, you know, I mean I have known you for ages, and yeah, but why not bring your humor and if it's your joke for you into yeah. your piece as well? Although having said that, it's um it's it's not in you it wasn't just this when you talk about it now i think that's fascinating as well and funny i get I mean, mind you i still don't know what irony every time it, somebody tells me what irony means i never ever i never understood what irony is but with with the pill boxes there's something about you talking about the pill boxes and also the the safety deposit um well you said that's what's the thing that people hand over their what handing over their sanity to a little pill box yes yeah. <laughs> yeah and then all but also using in the, using that for the safety deposit boxes in the member this yeah i i like the the difference between the um the seeming sanity and um control and um order of these things of a safety deposit box for your memories and yeah. a pill box for your pills and that these contain your memories and this contains your sanity and then just putting it into this yeah <laughs> pick up anything you can find and burn it and <laughs> throw it at it and just see what happens um it's a it is it's a funny combination and it is so i mean that's what we do we like to think that we're all 
um, you know, capable of, of, of profound sanity when the, when the <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I gave up on that idea ages ago, yeah. but, um, but it's quite encouraged, isn't it, in, to, in society for it to be orderly and for, for their, and for, for sanity to be, um, uh, like the norm or whatever. So it's, uh, it's a relief, I think, to hear about your, Oh, uh, you know your art that expresses that it's um that that allows for for um to be able to play on that to be able to play with that and to be able to also send it up but also to be able to um just really uh challenge and liberate anyone that looks at it when you when you see it together i mean i didn't notice those uh well we haven't got i wouldn't have known they were pill boxes and i didn't notice that it was yeah, um, nobody would from the finished product i don't think yeah they would right oh i see because that was yeah yeah right so are there any other um private jokes that you want to share let me just see if i can that um you might i mean they, they may be private because you because they're i don't want you to feel like you know you might not want to <laughs> you might not want to say but i'm curious well anything that you think oh i wonder if you we as a as a viewer that I wouldn't know about or I couldn't have known about that you think, oh, actually, this is this is important to me and this is part of who I am and this is this was my take on it or this is my humor around that or this is something that um, a viewer might not have not might not have really pick up on, but but you'd be willing or yeah, you'd be willing to share about or to talk about. Uh, oh, this one's amazing, actually. What's that? That's of course, that's that's funny you say that because that's not that wasn't even really and you know that was lit that literally was me just um, playing around mm. and so I don't honestly think that exists anymore. I have to mm. say, but that's that's definitely playing around with pain and possibly a heat gun as well. Um, and yeah, actually, I I, I loved doing things like that the reason um there is less things uh, you know there are, are no there are actually quite a lot of things like that is because um because I was on this at the time I was um I was on this I was at art school so you had to explain uh and actually and it's it's I'm really glad that we've done this Anna because I I hated that whole explaining my process because I worked so you know I just did most things I I didn't really have a clue I'm I, in retrospect I have more but looking at that piece you just brought up there definitely um I wouldn't have been able to, to sit in you know in in a seminar and say anything even but I uh, but like you so I'm glad you I'm glad you like it because I love doing things like that yeah um, well I love that no, you and there's there was nothing no to explain story. there's no yeah, well, story it's play it's literally um playing and doing what what felt right in the moment doing. yeah playing and playing with um, the way that paint falls and dries and what happens if you burn it and what happens if you do this and, you know. Um, Have you got, are there any of the ones, I know these are all the new ones, well, most of the new ones because um, I was just thinking by way of comparison, some of the ones that, um, that were so um, meticulously executed that I'd seen before. I mean, yeah. I suppose... Um, I don't know if I've got... You don't mind me just looking in here? Uh, no, not at all. If I've got, so I know I've got them in the in the file that I sent you. There are not you, not you. What the heck? I don't even know what that is. Um, actually, I'm not sure. They may not be in this folder. Thinking about it. Maybe in a completely different folder. Oh, that's that's okay. So, yeah, what do you? I could send you from my phone because I've got. As I was looking through that file, I I found um, the pictures they did of your niece and nephew. Oh yes, yeah. Yeah, 
Um, those, those are lovely. And you've done a lot of, I mean, I can remember you also did, um, so the thing there was to take photographs, was it photographs? Yeah. I can remember there was one, um, I don't know if it was a flat mate of yours or maybe it was somebody used to know. I've seen quite a few portraits yeah it's basically portraits is what I yeah. knew you for so um because you used to do uh, lots of portraits lots of drawing portraits yes. from photographs and so it came as a massive surprise when I first saw these because I don't think I knew that you um that you did these as well and yeah. so is it because I mean we <laughs> we yeah, it was, it was wonderful. And then you said, oh, no, I've always drawn. I've always painted. And then, Because I was around at yours once. And then you showed me all these paintings. I was like, oh, my goodness. Because um, we know each other because we, we studied when we were doing English. And I thought, and I, I know that you're always, no, I'm always jealous of, um, it's not, not your fault. I'm just jealous of anybody that reads before they go to bed. Oh, um, no, I don't anymore. I need to start again. I've been doing podcasts. Oh, well, all right. What have you been watching? Do you recommend uh, um, listening to what so podcast? Have you um, come across Rick? Oh, gosh, a dog's just joined us. Have you come across Rick Rubin's uh, book? I've heard of Rick Rubin's. Who's that? Remind uh, me again Rick who that Rubin's, is. Rick Rubin's, he's just brought out a book called The Creative Act. Uh, Rick Rubin started Def Jam. Oh, right. Yes. Oh, yeah, I have. I posted, <laughs> I did a quote by him on this group. Yeah. Yeah, he seems really, what's his podcast like? Oh, well, it's not his podcast. It's sort of like interviews that he's doing at the moment because uh, the book he's written a book which took like seven years. It was seven years in the making called The Creative Act, mm. and um, I've been listening to excerpts from it and I've been listening to him talking about it. And I'm inspired to actually get the the book because um, I mean it's just um, inspiring. And a lot of the things that I'm talking about about just letting go and doing. Um, and forgetting, you know, not taking the audience out, you know, not that I have an audience, but taking the audience out of the process. Well, well as soon as as soon as you as soon as you do create anything, you do there is potentially an audience. It doesn't matter if whether somebody's actually looking at it or not, isn't it? Yeah, it's because it's it's exactly it's never, taking he said never to, you know to never work towards them and never think, you know, because he works with bands. Um, that are established and he has a reputation and so you know so so uh, on, on a couple of the interviews people have said do you there's a, a res not a responsibility I can't remember the exact words but yeah I posted that quote actually I can't remember the exact words right. either but basically do work for you be yes. your own audience yeah, Absolutely. And, then, and, and realize that you actually serve your audience by not doing the no, by not working towards what you think they might like. Yeah. Serve them. They don't know. <laughs> no, and um, yeah, exactly. To 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 be be your own audience. Do do the work that do what you love. Do the work for you, and yeah. then that yeah, that's the way that you're you're serving. So do you feel like you've you've done that in the past? I, I I think as an artist, it might be inescapable at some point in your life. I find it really hard. I must admit, it's like, um, and I don't know if it, you know, it comes from, God, I don't want to sound too therapy, but the outer critic, you know, the, the, but I find it really hard to switch off that. Yeah, outside, outside influences or how you think it should be, that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But those moments where you do give up on it, uh, give up on those thoughts or where you're, you're busy in it, to the extent where you just for that for that space of time you've you've forgotten to consider what somebody else might be thinking of it and that what you want to do is encourage and facilitate those times as much as possible and this particular body of work that you that you've done um from what you're saying apart from the sentence that you were given you really you've felt well I, I'm I'll check with you that you did feel that this that you that you perhaps it was was it one of the times where you most felt like that absolutely. in the work that you've done yeah mm. absolutely I mean I've, I've just started um so yeah absolutely um and in that vein I've just started 
working, uh, you know, doing something every day, even if it's just like, uh, and it's, uh, God, to say, talk about it, it sounds, and that says me already sort of. Uh, oh, you're already going uh, into. But um, every day to just do so, something in a, in a journaling way. Um, and already it's turned into to something. Um, and it's also, I seem to be going back to memory. So at the moment, at, it, so this is a project that started just by, oh God, I find it really hard to talk about this stuff sometimes. But just by following through with that process, doing something every day. And, yeah. You know, what did I, what, what connected with me and just letting mo the, you know, letting the mind go. Um, yeah. And, and, you, you know, and it sounds like it's new. So you wouldn't, it wouldn't necessarily be something to articulate anyway. And, um, and I really appreciate and I totally identify with when you're. Already by following, huh? I'm, I'm quite, I have something already um, for myself. Um, and and I'm uh, and it's an experiment, which you, which is what I've been talking about throughout this, and which is just literally doing. So so hopefully I, you know I won't be doing this for the rest of the year only, but this but I'm going to stick with this. Um, and it, it, it's something that I saw when I was out. I took a photo of. So it started with a photo. The first sketch was from the photo and then every day and actually I find myself writing with it because um, it's something that I feel that there's a story around. So I know. And I, um, so but but every day since I'm going back to the sketch and it's just one single. It's a crow. It's a crow. I'll just say it. It's out there. So every day I go back to the one so I sketch from the day before and so I'm seeing how it so this isn't uh and this is without thinking of an audience this is just a conversation between you and I but already I'm interested so already the, the, I'm interested to see how it changes and so that's also to do with memory and the temptation is to go back to the photo but no absolutely not or to go back to the first sketch which but what you are doing are you going back to the so you're going back to the what are you are you just doing it from your imagination every day no i go so i go i look at the one from the day before but not uh, just the one from the day before but that's it yeah and so we're, um and there's a story developing around this um, yeah don't don't feel you've got a ship I, 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 I just respectfully i don't want you to feel you've got to because that's the other thing when you've got you've got like ideas formulating the whole thing is that you 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 don't know what it is yet and so yeah. you don't it can be premature to even articulate it actually yeah. um and and it doesn't feel you know to certainly don't feel obliged to articulate something when it doesn't feel ready to to be talked about if ever and often some of the things don't feel uh, it's it's brilliant i mean it's a just really inspiring chatting with you karen um because uh uh, all of the I love love the private joke with the pillboxes. You know, as artists, well, I mean, I say that I I really need to get on with some stuff this year. Um, but it, it I I love that we have that. Uh, what, what it's nice to remember, as you said, to be reminded. Um, and also in the words of Rick Rubin, you do it for yourself. Do it for yourself, and that is the way that you're best serving the artist. But also the private, the interplay between you and the art as well. And that as an artist, you can have that. You can afford yourself that. Why not? Why not have a, have humour in it? And it's and some of the stuff is funny, and then it is also funny to. Um, oh, I don't know if I could if I could. Yeah, you know, there's some artists that take themselves <laughs> terribly seriously, which is also funny. I mean, their art might be, it could be amazing, but you know, all of it is, you know, is um, is what we want to be, have the freedom to feel we can express, isn't it, really? All the complexities, all the humour, all of it, um, in the way that we want to, and to honour and to validate that. And I'm really... Um, I'm really glad that your experiences from the last lot of work that you've done, that what we've seen, uh, really, um, you really felt that you were doing that and that also you're now exploring, you feel ready to be exploring um, a slightly different method again. Well, method sounds too formal, but a different approach again um, and continuing that um, exploration really, which is for you, which is just for you and the development of your own art. So it's really brilliant. I really look forward to seeing, seeing what you do. Uh, Karen, 
thanks so much. That just I I really want to chat to you more and and come and see um because I haven't well I don't know what I can do. Might have to go and find this little town in Bristol somewhere and go and see. <laughs> Here we go. There's some some of the stuffs in a situation that I definitely don't want to walk back to. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. We'll just let it be where some it is. Of it, this, the one behind you. Um, oh, just 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 because. I mean, maybe one day, or uh, you know, there are conversations that need to be um, had, and, and perhaps it doesn't exist anymore. But it's it's just like that sometimes, isn't it? Well, it'll be out there somewhere, even if it's not in your yeah. immediate possession. Um, lots of love, Karen, and I'll, um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. There's a, can you hear the dog squeaking in the background? No. Oh, I'm good, not. good. <laughs> so it's time to turn your attention to the, it was Shanti. Um, no, right, I've got two golden retrievers with me. Oh, have you? Yeah. They're doing very, they're extremely well behaved. I can't hear anything. Rocco's just found a squeaky ball, so... Um, <laughs> Rocco! Okay. Come on. All right, I'll let you crack on then. Okay. Good talking to you. Yes, thanks, Anna. Bye. See you soon. <laughs> yeah.